and of course I was determined, you know, a energetic young entrepreneur, I'm going to make it happen. So um, yeah, that was really the impetus. When, once I knew that Paul and others, you know, validated this concept, I was ready to, to blaze that trail. Oh, that's epic. And, and I think you've done, I think um, it leads, that leads us right into the turning point because you saw the need for something and you saw um, that something other than yourself was required to, to make it happen, which a lot of, a lot of entrepreneurs don't want to admit. They don't want to look outside themselves. They feel business owners, I'll say maybe business owners more than entrepreneurs, you know, entrepreneurs might have a little bit more of a, a spirited attitude, but a lot of business owners want to look at everything in, inside themselves. Um, and feel they have to rely only on themselves. So I give you a, a ton of kudos and a ton of props for for reaching out and saying, "Hey, you know, I, you know, I think this is a good idea, and you seem to be a, an expert, or you are an expert in this." Um, so, and that's you know, that's one of that's what our viewers have to do. You know, if you're in the beginning phase and you see the need for something or see the need for a change, start looking at who the top in the industry is, and you know, see if they'll see if they'll talk to you. Um, so let's talk a little bit. Let's get into the turning point a little bit. Um, in a lot of heroes' journeys, there be, there's something negative that happens that means somebody goes from the ultra success they were, and then they have this real negative or low point. Did you hit a low point, like get fired, laid off, um, you know, anything like that, or was it a self-defined turning point where you said, "I don't want to get to that point. I just need to see things change." Yeah, thankfully, I didn't get to that point where it was uh, something that forced me into into the decision to uh, start my own business. Um, but I did realize, and to your point earlier, that relying or getting help and assistance from other people, I knew that I had some missing pieces or links. So while I had the validation that I was onto something, I'm not someone who can. I'm not the front guy in our business. I don't, I'm not the one that's going to deliver the fund myself. So I called a good, uh, good friend and associate. Many of you will know, and especially um, from the Philadelphia area. But Dave Raymond, who's the original Philly fanatic, and there's a guy who delivered fund very successfully all his life for years. And I shared the idea with David, and he again had this great validation. He said, "Nick, I've been in the sports world for." my entire career but I would really like to be in in the corporate environment and again that was another you know kind of incentive or major milestone for for me to continue on with the business wow the Phil Dave I mean I, I'm I'm still in shock and awe because I mean I grew up watching the Philly Fanatic and this guy if, if our viewers have not seen if you've not heard of the Philly, Philly Fanatic I don't care if you're a sports fan just go search it because he is the best mascot that has ever ever lived so I'm sorry for interrupting you were you were about to tell us you were having this conversation with with David and and, and uh, what was the result of that again yeah so we had several conversations but immediately he was interested he he really saw that there was a, a need and he wanted to diversify his business from the sports and mascot business into the corporate world and we still had a, a couple of missing pieces right so I had the sales and marketing down and Dave was going to do the training and he had the model for the way we wanted to deliver it but we needed some other people and there's a great story about Dave and I at a minor league baseball game years ago in Aberdeen Maryland and we were talking about the business and watching one of his mascots that he created perform on the third baseline and we were mildly entertained by the mascot but I looked down the first baseline and the crowd's gone wild and there's this young guy in cargo shorts and a t-shirt on the top of the dugout and he's got the crowd going crazy and I said who is that guy and Dave said oh that's Matt Measley he's the on-field entertainer here he's amazing so I said well, that's the guy we need so Dave and I approached him after the game a, you know graduate student at the University of Delaware had all kinds of offers to do all kinds of things in the sports world and entertainment world but he chose to come to work with us. Thankfully, he's the co-author of the book and my business partner, and you know, an awesome young guy. <laughs> I'm just laughing because I mean, and I gotta digress for a second because I love Expert Showcase and I love the guests we've had on. We've had Who Wants to Be a Millionaire get uh, winners on. We've had nuclear physicists on. We've had seven-figure business owners on. 
And now we've got a friend of the of the original Philly fanatic. I mean, my life almost can't get any better than this unless my next unless my next wife comes on this show. But anyway, that's besides the point. But I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of awestruck and starstruck at this point. I must admit, and and that's probably not a good thing for a host to be. But the what I want to tell everybody is is that you got to listen to this guy. <laughs> And before I derail this with all the talk about myself, you got to listen to this guy because, and, and here's why, and I'll interject right in the middle of the turning point. You know, if anybody, like I said before, if anybody knows about fun, it's, it's the original Philly fanatic. And, um, it's, it's, you know, it's what a lot of fun has been, has been, uh, based on in baseball and in a lot of other, in a lot of other areas. And, you throw on top of that somebody who is smart enough to realize where his strengths lie and that he needs to augment them with other pieces to make it a success, you have a winning combination. And that's why Nick is so effective in what he does. And that's why Nat is so effective in what he does. And that's how you can be so effective in what you do. To watch the rest of this epic episode now, click on the link below the video. Do it now, you'll be glad you did. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? Watch the rest of this epic episode now by clicking on the link below the video.